Well, good morning and welcome to this online morning worship service for the parish of Stockport and Brinnington. I hope you're all well. Now, I am Jeff Rayner. I'm a first year ordinand and I'm on placement with you for the next few months. Now, today is one of the traditional ember days in the church calendar. And I have to admit, I did actually have to look this one up myself to find out what it means. And what it actually says is the term Ember Days refers to three days set apart for fasting, abstinence and prayer during each of the four seasons of the year. Now, the purpose of their introduction was to thank God for the gifts of nature, to teach men to make use of them in moderation and to assist the needy. And these, these feet fasts traditionally take place on the, the Wednesday and Friday and Saturday following what is called St. Lucy's Day on the 13th of December and the first Sunday in Lent, which is what we're doing today, Pentecost on Holy Cross Day on the 14th of September. Some areas do follow a different pattern. Ordination ceremonies are often held on Ember Saturdays or the following Sunday. So... Just a little bit of knowledge to start our service with today. But let us begin with an opening prayer. Blessed are you, God of compassion and mercy. To you be praise and glory forever. And in the darkness of our sin, your light breaks forth like the dawn and your healing springs up for deliverance. And as we rejoice in the gift of your saving help, sustain us with your bountiful spirit and open our lips to sing your praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. And together we say, glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. So let us pray with one heart and mind. And as we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Psalm 6 O Lord, rebuke me not in your wrath, nor chasten me in your fierce anger. Have mercy on me, Lord, for I am weak. Lord, heal me, for my bones are racked. My soul also shakes with terror. How long, O Lord? How long? Turn again, O Lord, and deliver my soul and save me for your loving mercy's sake. For in death, no one remembers you. And who can give you thanks in the grave? I am weary with my groaning, and every night I drench my pillow in, flood my bed with my tears. My eyes are wasted with grief, and worn away because of all my enemies. Depart from me all that you do evil, for the Lord has heard the voice of my weeping. The Lord has heard my supplication and the Lord will receive my prayer. All my enemies shall be put to shame and confusion and they shall suddenly turn back in their shame. Our reading today is taken from John chapter 5. Verses 30 to the end. I can do nothing on my own. As I hear, I judge, and my judgment is just. Because I seek to do not my own will, but the will of him who sent me. If I testify about myself, my testimony is not true. There is another who testifies on my behalf, and I know that his testimony to me is true. You sent messengers to John and he testified to the truth. And not that I accept such human testimony, but I say these things so that you may be saved. 
He was a burning and shining lamp, and you were willing to rejoice for a while in his light. But I have a testimony greater than John's. The works that the Father has given me to complete, the very works that I am doing, testify on my behalf that the Father has sent me. And the Father who sent me has himself testified on my behalf. You have never heard his voice or seen his form, and you do not have his word abiding in you, because you do not believe him whom he sent. Now, you search the scriptures because you think that in them you have eternal life, and it is they that testify on my behalf. You refuse to come to me to have life. I mean, I do not accept glory from human beings, but I know that you do not have the love of God in you. I have come in my Father's name, and you do not accept me. If another comes in his own name, you will accept him. And how can you believe when you accept glory from one another and do not seek the glory that comes from the one who alone is God? Do not think that I will accuse you before the Father. Your accuser is Moses, on whom you have set your hope. If you believe Moses, you would believe me, for he wrote about me. But if you do not believe what he wrote, how will you believe what I say? This is the word of the Lord. We now come to our intercessionary prayers. So let us pray. We pray for the flourishing of God's gifts to his church, saying, Lord of the church, in your mercy hear us. God our Father, you give us gifts that we may work together in the service of your Son. Bless the leaders of your church that they may be firm in faith and humble before you. Lord of the church, in your mercy, hear us. Bless those who teach, that they may increase our understanding and be open to your word for them. Lord of the church, in your mercy, hear us. And bless those who minister healing, that they may bring wholeness to others, yet know your healing in themselves. Lord of the church, in your mercy, hear us. And bless those through whom you speak, 
that they may proclaim your word in power, yet open their ears to your gentle whisper. Lord of the church, in your mercy hear us. And bless those who work in your world today, as in the complexity of their daily lives, they may live for you, fulfil your purposes and seek your kingdom first. Lord of the church, in your mercy hear us. And bless those who are uncertain of their gifts and those who are powerless in this world's eyes, that they may be strong in your gift of the Holy Spirit. Lord of the church, hear our prayer and make us one in heart and mind to serve you with joy forever. Amen. And now we finish our worship today by saying the Lord's Prayer in its traditional form. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. Well, thank you very much for tuning in to this morning service. I do hope that it can give you some hope and comfort in the days ahead. We're all living in difficult times and hopefully we can open church again and be together in the warmth of God's love. So please stay safe and well and try and keep smiling. God bless you all. And go in peace to love and to serve the Lord. Amen. <laughs>